Hello everyone, this is Sashmit from Paragai Technologies. Today I am going to demonstrate how to use the Q groups for a role center in Navision 2016. So what are Q groups? Q provides a graphical representation of the number of records in a table and viewing those records in a filter list by drilling down to the Q groups. Q groups are mostly used on the role center for graphical representation of the data for example activities sales on this role center. Here you can see that there are different 8 different queues representing different data like open sales order, sales codes, ready to ship, partially shipped, delayed, return orders and credit memos. When you drill down on a queue, you will see the filtered record like released or open status. Here is the open. So similarly we can create our on queue group page. And now let's start creating a queue. First of all, we need to create a table where the queue will refer the data. In the table, I'll put the primary key as the user ID so that I can have different queues for the different users. So let's put the primary key, primary key as the user ID. The data type will be code and the length is 50. And next I'll create a field named sales order all. Sales order open. Purchase order all and purchase order release. So this fields will show, for example, sales order all will show the sales order that is without any status. The sales order, for example, open status, release status or all the status will be shown in sales order all. This fields will now have to be linked from the sales header. So for linking I will create this field as a flow field and I will put the calci formula method as count. And let's put the table as sales header that is the sales order table and I'll put the table filter as document type order click OK and similarly for all the fields we have to link the tables for sales order open I'll put sales header and I'll put an extra filter of status as open Similarly for the purchase section, I will put the document type as status, document type as open and status will not be put here and for purchase order released, I will put the extra filter of status as released. So let's quickly create it. status is released. Now our table is created. Next we can save our table. So let's quickly save the table as 50001. And name as test order queue. Now our table is created. Next is to create a card for this. We'll create a card part page here and include all the numbers here. The numbers are the fields that is the sales order all, sales order open, purchase order all and purchase order release. So I'll quickly take all the fields in the field order. Click finish. Now we have to make some changes here to make it a queue page that is I'll have to put a group as Q group. 
so in type select group and in subtype select q group and indent all the fields inside this q group Now let's quickly save the pages 50001. When the page is created, I have to put a code on on open trigger of this page so that the table that is having some flow fields will initiate themselves. So for example, the code goes like this. If I don't get any record, that is, I, I don't get the user ID in the table then I insert the user ID inside the table so that the flow fields can initiate themselves. I just put the user ID and assign the user ID that is the system function inside this user ID and insert. One thing, one thing that you need to do here is now to link the drill down page ID with the pages that we need to run when we drill down through this queue groups. So for sales order, I put sales order list page here in the drill down page ID and for purchase, I put the drill down page ID as the purchase order list. Now our page is created, you can save the changes um, and now next run this page. When we run the queue page, we will see the numbers and we are able to drill down to the filter view of the pages linked. When I click on sales order all, I, I will see all the sales orders here that is open or release sales order. When I click on open, then I will only see the open because the view is filtered. You will notice one thing here that the queue groups are blue on colors and those on role center have some special colors added with them. So let's quickly go to the role centers. When you compare the role center and just created page, you will see the difference here that there are different colors on the role center page and on our page, the, these colors are not there. So this can be done using a functionality here that is the queue setup functionalities. So open the queue setup from the navigation bar and in this queue setup, when I create a new, I'll have to put the table id as 50001 that is the table that I had just created for the queue groups. I have to select the queue id that is the field number in the table and I have to put the low range style, middle range style and high range style and based on the threshold 1 and threshold 2 the colors will be shown. So let's just quickly create for all the four numbers that is sales order all, sales order open and purchase order all and purchase order released. Based on the colors, based on the threshold, the colors will be shown like green will be shown if the threshold, if the limit is below 30 and for above 30 and between 40, the middle range color will be shown and above 40, the red color will be shown. Once the setup is done, we can click OK to save these values and rerun the queue page. Now you will see the colors will be shown based on the queue setup that is the threshold we just set. So click OK. And rerun the page. Now you will, now you will see the colors. This page can now be integrated on any role centers as required. Thanks for watching the video. For more information, please visit www.paraguide.com.